Hey guys, here's how to update the BIOS on Gigabyte's B550 line of motherboards. Now I have CPU-Z open here with the main board tab shown to show you the exact model that I have, which is the Aorus Elite AX, and what version of the BIOS I'm currently running, which is F11G. So now that I know that, I can head over to the BIOS downloads page for this particular board. Now you have to download the BIOS that is specific to your exact model. So if you have the Pro, or the AXV2, you have to use that page to find your downloads. But once you click Downloads, then BIOS, you will get a list like this showing all the releases in order from oldest at the bottom to newest at the top. Now, F11i is the newest, which, is, which looks like it has superseded G. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the update. Now, before you do that, make sure to read the description to look at the release notes for what's new. A lot of times, the newer releases add CPU support or fix bugs or things like that. But there are, on occasion, I think in red lettering, a special note down at the bottom that will tell you if you had to follow a specific process to jump from the oldest versions to maybe the newest versions. Sometimes you have to update to one or more of the intermediate releases before you can jump straight to the newest version. So make sure you pay attention to that before you proceed with this process. So if you hit download, it will load a zip file, which you then have to extract and copy to a USB thumb drive, which I've already done here. Now the last thing you have to do is make sure that this thumb drive is plugged directly into one of the USB ports on the back of the board itself, because you don't want to risk a USB hub acting up or losing power during the flash, because that could result in a bricked board and you don't want to increase your risk. So once you've done that, go ahead and reboot the system into your BIOS, and we'll pick up there. No. No. Okay, once you've booted into the BIOS, whether you're in easy mode or advanced mode, it doesn't much matter. As long as you navigate to Q Flash or hit F8, you'll be prompted with this screen here, where you can choose to update your BIOS or save it. So if you hit update, then you can navigate to your thumb drive, which I've got right here and then choose the BIOS update file, and then hit yes to proceed. Now, before you hit start, make sure that, if at all possible, your board is plugged into an uninterruptible power supply, like a battery backup, because if the power goes out during this flash process, you can brick your motherboard. Once the BIOS update is complete, your computer will reboot automatically. Okay, so now that we've booted back into Windows, we can open CPU-Z back up and take a look at the BIOS version and confirm that it is the newest F11i. So we're all set. I hope this helped you out. Thanks so much for watching.